Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the fatal error that has been happening after installing and activating the Kale WordPress theme. Now, at the time of my recording of this video, which is August in 2022, I've had a handful of people reach out to me after watching my how to start a food blog tutorial, telling me that when they install and activate the Kale WordPress theme, it crashes their site. Well, that's not good. So I reached out to the developers over at Lyra Themes and they assured me that they're aware of the issue and working on a solution. But in the meantime, they shared another way to manually fix the issue. Bottom line, this fatal error only affects people who are using PHP 8 and above. However, if you're comfortable with editing some code in the back end of your site, then this is an easy fix. Now, real quick before we get started, if you find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. You're helping me keep this channel going and growing, so thank you very much for all the support. Okay, with that being said, let's fix the Kale WordPress theme fatal error. All right, in this video, I'm assuming that you're using Bluehost web hosting. If you're not, there may be a few different steps in order to access your file manager. However, after you access the file manager, which we're about to do, all of the steps to fix the issue should be pretty similar. Okay, so I'm currently in my Bluehost customer portal, and from here, you'll wanna open the advanced tab. And this will take you to your cPanel. Then within the files section, open the file manager. And this will bring you to where all of the files for every one of your sites are stored. This is like the skeleton of your site. Then the first thing we need to do is access the public HTML folder. And the public HTML folder is the web root for your primary domain. So on the left hand side of the screen, double click on where it says public HTML. And if you only have one domain, it will automatically open the root for your site. But if you have multiple domains, you'll see each domain file listed on the left hand side of the screen. So just make sure you select the domain file that you're using the Kale WordPress theme with. Okay, once you have the correct root selected, find the WP content file and it'll be listed as WP content and double click on it to open it up. Then find and open the themes file. Then the Kale file. And then the welcome page file. And this will bring you to the PHP file you're going to edit, which is the class.welcomepage.php file. And what you want to do here is right click on that file, and this will bring up another menu of options where you'll select edit. Then you'll probably get a pop-up notification making sure that you're aware that you're editing this file. So double check and make sure that you're editing the correct file. Again, we want the class.welcomepage.php file is the correct one. So go ahead and click the edit button. And this will take you to the actual file. Now, if this is your first time editing PHP, it may seem somewhat intimidating, but once you see what we're going to do, you'll be pleasantly surprised. So what you want to do here is scroll down and look for lines 117 and 120 of the code. The numbers will be listed on the left hand side and then the snippets of code will be on the right hand side. Then all you're going to do is add the lowercase letter s after the percentage symbol here in line 117. Then here in line 120, add the lowercase letter s after the percentage symbol and that's literally it. So again, all you're doing is adding the lowercase letter s directly after the percentage symbol in lines 117 and 120. So line 117 will say about percentage s and line 20 will say welcome to percentage s. That's all we're changing. Then click the save changes button in the upper right corner of the file and this will save our changes within the file and you should be good to go. Just head back to your customer portal and log into WordPress and the Kale theme should be behaving correctly and the fix should work. 
Now, if you're still not seeing the theme after performing these steps, then I highly recommend reaching out to Lyra Theme Support directly. And I'll put their support email address below in the video description. But like I said, this worked for me and everyone who has reached out to me with this issue. Now, I love the Kale WordPress theme and I still stand by it 100%, but when you're dealing with the never-ending innovation of technology, sometimes these things happen. So I realize that it can be frustrating at times, but just know that there's more than likely always a solution to your problem when it comes to WordPress. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, now that you've started your blog, Check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll help you grow your audience and earn a passive income with your blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family. And for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.